All right, hey all, uh, it's Brandon, and today we're going to look at how to get transcripts in Google Meet, both of the conversation as well as what's in the in-meeting chat. Um, so I think we're all familiar with now, every time you have a meeting online, there's kind of two meetings happening, right? There's the stuff that gets said between the participants in the meeting on the screen or in video and voice, and then there's also the chat room that goes along with the meeting. And all of the meetings that I've been in where there's like a robust and vibrant chat are incredibly important because there's often uh, questions, solutions, uh, there's me uh, links to articles or tools uh, that get thrown out there, but they're, they're, they're limited time, right? If you close the meeting and you don't capture those, they're just gone into the ether. Or are they? They are not. So Google has been adding a lot of features to Google Meet. Um, and a couple of the recent ones have been uh, the ability to capture the Google Meet transcripts of what's said and the Google Meet chat con uh, transcripts. So where do you do that? So I've got this uh, screenshot here of a Meet that I ran earlier today. And down at the bottom, right over there, where you see the uh, triangle, square, and the circle, if you click on that, there's a list of options for kind of um, things that you can add to the meeting. And you're going to see two that we're going to talk about today. One is called recording, and just underneath that is transcripts. So if I clicked on the recording one, this is the easiest, most straightforward way to get both. So if you click on the recording, obviously it'll flash, but you also probably just want to mention to the people that you're meeting with that you're recording them. Um, when it comes up and you get the option to start a recording, that blue button down at the bottom will say start recording, but also make sure to click the checkbox there that starts a transcript. So it works really strange in Google. So if you are recording the video of a meeting, it will capture both the written chat as well as what is said during the meeting, but it won't automatically generate a transcript of what is said during the meeting. You have to actively select that in the starting the recording option. Now, maybe you just want to get the video and be able to get the chat transcript and that's good enough. If you wanted to uh, do that, you just click start recording, don't select the checkbox, and that won't also do a separate document with the, with the uh, audio transcript. Um, alternatively, if you wanted to go in and only get the transcript of what is said and you don't care about the chat or capturing the actual uh, video, you can actually in that same window underneath there, if you click, uh, let's go back to this, if you click on transcripts, uh, this window comes up and it'll give you the chance to start a transcription recording. So um, at the end of the meeting or whatever you want to stop it, you can go in and hit stop on the recording or uh, hit stop on the, on the transcription. Or when you end the meeting, that just automatically does it. So what happens then? It may take a little while, but you will get an email to your inbox um, with, if you ha are doing the recordings, you'll get one with the video file as well as the chat transcript, and you will get a separate one for the transcription of what was said during the meeting. Um, so you'll probably get two emails if you're capturing all that stuff. Um, now, weirdly, um, the video, the, the video transcript is actually really straightforward. It gives you the names um, and it gives you kind of the running list of what happened. It doesn't necessarily timestamp it in there, but you get a chronological listing of things uh, that were said. Super awesome. Um, the chat transcript comes in in a, like a TXT file or a, a basic text file. And so if you want to open that with Google Docs, you can. One of the annoying things about the chat, uh, you know, most often when you want to capture it, it's because there's been like links and stuff thrown in there. Uh, the links aren't actually active links in, in either the uh, text file or when it gets translated into the doc. Just kind of an annoying feature, but there we are. The last thing that I'll tell you is that when you'll get the email notification with all the documents related to that meeting, it will also add them to a folder that's created in my drive uh, called Meet Recordings. And this is awesome, except that 
it just throws the files in the meet recordings with all of your other meet recordings. So if you're not kind of going in there, you're going to have a ton of documents on anything that you've recorded. Now, granted, you can, you can uh, do the search by this. All the ones have titles. Uh, the, the actual ID of the meeting um, is all in the files associated with that meeting, as well as the date of the meeting and time and kind of, and that kind of stuff. So you can, you can easily kind of filter or sort it down. Um, personally, I create a meeting archive folder and drop it in there. And periodically I just go in and take recent meetings that uh, I'm just archiving and throw it in there just so that as new files come in, I'm not having to search or mess with it. They're just right there and I can kind of handle and triage them from there. Um, so I hope that helps. Uh, it is an incredibly powerful and very cool feature. It works really, really well. Um, but the use of it is just a little bit awkward. So I hope the video kind of uh, walked you through it. All right. Have a good one.